Welcome back to Mike's Man Cave. Today we'll be doing a video or a follow-up video really on um, how to set up your vortex. Now if you've watched my original video you know about um, putting the foil around the bottom of it and placing the vortex in the middle with obviously no foil underneath the vortex. The vents are fully open and that's how we set it up for maximum heat okay this is the way to produce the most heat out of your vortex now i've had some people say no don't put the foil or no you put foil underneath or no you put foil on the outside whatever whatever okay this is how you set up a vortex and there's signs behind this um, if someone can explain signs to me that tells me otherwise or if you can get someone else to show me a vortex that is glowing red hot then I will um, concede and I will make another video explaining to everyone how this is not the way to set up your vortex. Now the science behind it there's several factors okay the first one is the shape of the original vortex this is an original vortex purchased from the manufacturer that makes vortexes and it's got a certain shape it's large at the bottom small at the top what that does hot air rises that's the scientific fact go back to high school science hot air rises now because hot air rises um, having a fire or hot coals inside the vortex will cause hot, um, cold air to be drawn through the vents. Now cold air contains oxygen, more oxygen than hot air. So what we're trying to avoid by placing the foil around is we're trying to avoid hot air circulating around the um, lid and getting sucked back into the vortex because hot air does not contain any oxygen. Now you need oxygen to create heat and to create fire. Okay, fire burns oxygen. Okay, burning is a form of oxidizing. Okay, that's where your oxygen gets burned up. So you want fresh, cool, oxygen rich air coming in through those vents. You don't want hot. Um, air containing no oxygen circling around inside your vortex to um, hinder your burning process. Now the shape of the vortex causes air to speed up. As air travels up it gets forced into a smaller space. So therefore air speed will accelerate as it goes through the vortex causing um, more air to be drawn in. This is why it works so well. It's the same as a jet engine. It compresses the air and the heat and fires it out the top of the vortex. Now you've got the radiant heat. And as you can see this vortex is still in great condition. Okay? It's done countless cooks and it's glowed red hot on many occasions. Now this um, heat that comes out and circulates around the top of your um, kettle is what fries, virtually air fries your chicken wings or chicken drumsticks or chicken quarters or whatever else you put in there. I generally use the vortex to cook chicken and um, other people may use it for other stuff. Okay, so the, the extremely hot air circulating around your um, kettle and excess hot air getting drawn out or getting blasted out of your top vent is what causes your um, chicken to virtually air fry and um, that's what gets you the nice crispy skin so um, that's how the vortex works and that's the theory behind putting the foil there now it does still work if you don't put the foil don't get me wrong you still have a vortex effect um, but it will nowhere near get the amount of fresh cold air to the fire which is burning in there. Okay, I've heard people say take this foil away because you're um, stopping the fire from burning. Well, how? 
okay there's no fire burning on the outside you want fresh cold air coming up through that hole feeding your coals oxygen rich fresh cool air drawn in through the fully open vents down the bottom okay if you disagree or if you agree um, leave a comment in the meantime thanks for watching and happy grilling don't forget to subscribe